Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn a bit more about Commissioner Tools and the Unit Service Plan. This presentation is about how to create an entry for a unit contact. Commissioner Tools provides a place for commissioners to capture and monitor unit health, their strengths and needs, as well as track the progress of the unit service plan. This is supported by creating unit contact entries. To create an entry for a unit contact, navigate to the unit for which you wish to record a contact and select the new contact button. When the new contact window opens, you can see fields marked with an asterisk to indicate they are a required field. The type of contact defaults to unit meeting. You can use the drop down feature to pick other choices including unit committee, leader meeting, unit key 3, unit activity, unit parent meeting, or other. Selecting other offers you a free form text field to enter the type of contact you wish such as an email or phone contact. The visitor commissioner field defaults to the name associated with your login but can be changed if you're entering a contact for another commissioner by clicking the drop down arrow. A list of commissioners registered in the district will display along with their member number to help identify the correct person. If you're entering a contact for another commissioner, select their name. Remember, contacts can also be entered by unit serving professionals when necessary. The date of contact defaults to the current date. To change the date, select the drop down or type in the date. You can record a contact that has already occurred or schedule one for a future date. Remember though that a contact must be entered within 60 days of occurring. You can schedule a future date as well. Use this drop down to select the status of the unit's health. You can select the unit's health based on their status as of their last contact. Select from unit health declined unit health improved or unit health unchanged. Moving down the form you see two options detailed assessment and simple assessment. Remember a detailed assessment should be completed at least twice a year. Simple assessments are best done monthly or more frequent and are meant to monitor the progress of the unit service plan. Select the type of assessment you wish to complete. Please see additional videos for in-depth information about detailed assessment and simple assessment entries. These videos will provide specific details about those topics.